So it's picking up full leaves. It's also picking up the seeds off of the maple trees. And so there we go. Okay, so before we go outside and test this pool vacuum, I wanna show you some of the features inside. It's really windy outside, kinda of cool, and so we're gonna be best to check the features in here before we go out and see how it works. Now, they did send this to me at no charge for this review so that I can show it to you. And so well, one of the first things I wanna show you here is the head of this vacuum. Now, the head of the vacuum is going to be used um, inside the pool and to scrape the edges of the pool. You got brushes on here to scrape the bottom of the pool as well. If you are standing outside of the pool and you attempt to use this, the it's not... It's not real flexible if you are reaching uh, the full extension of your telescopic uh, handle here. So it's going to bump up off of the floor of your, your swimming pool. So this is gonna be something that's going to be used in close proximity to you. For example, if you were inside the pool with this, you would be able to use your head uh, in this manner and not have any, any issues with it. Now, if you were extending out across your swimming pool, for example, I've got a 15 foot swimming pool and I don't want to be moving all the way around the edge of the pool. I'm going to be able to extend the handle of this and then also use uh, the, the larger nozzle here. And this is going to be really good, uh, especially if you get some leaves or larger debris in, in your swimming pool. This is not going to uh, plug up nearly as easy as that head. And there are a couple of wheels right here so that you can scoot that little guy right across your pool, the bottom of your pool, and suck up the debris that's on the bottom of your pool. The handle, as I did mention, it is telescopic. You got one lock here and one lock here. We're just gonna give these a little quarter of a turn, and then we can extend that way out there like that. So I can reach uh, to the middle of my swimming pool and not have to worry about that at all. These will just lock into place just like that so that you can't push that back down. Now this handle is detachable. You can either detach the telescopic handle right here, or you can remove the whole thing and put on a different handle right here. So we're just gonna take the telescopic handle off, and then we're gonna add a different handle. It's just going to pop in there just like that. And then you can use it if you were uh, maybe had a, a smaller pool, a kiddie pool, a dog pool, or something like that, or maybe even a cold plunge, you could use that inside with the handle like this. So it's going to be really convenient. Now, the it does have a power button right here, and you want to make sure that when you're using this, you do not use it dry. Uh, so you want to have the entire thing submerged in the water within 60 seconds of turning it on. So you can turn it on. But you want to make sure that you get it in the water so that you don't run that pump dry. And again, you get it within 60 seconds. And you also want to make sure that you have the LED indicator light uh, underwater as well. So you want to have the whole thing completely submerged in the water. Once you get done vacuuming, uh, you can empty out your container here by lifting up the handle. And then this is just going to pop out. And then you can clean your screen. And then once it's clear, clear of debris, then you're just going to pop that right back in the base and lock it in place. This is where we're going to charge it. And the LED charge light, you saw that at the beginning of the video, that will be red. So I think the next thing we need to do is just get this outside. I'm not going to put it in a large pool yet. I want to try it in a cold plunge just to test it and see how well it does. Okay, so I just want you to take a quick look inside of here and we can see the debris that's at the bottom of the pool. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get this in here and power it on and see how well it does. All right, let's give it a look. So there's our filter. There's the debris on the inside. And then there's that on the inside as well. So it's picking up full leaves. 
It's also picking up the seeds off of the maple trees. And so there we go. A lot of dirt, a lot of gunk in there. I don't really have any issues with it right now. Uh, I think it's going to take a, a, an extended period of time to be cleaning a, a, a full-size swimming pool. But, you know, if we are doing that on a regular basis and making sure the bottom of our pools are cleaned of debris and just spending a few minutes a day or a few minutes a week uh, cleaning that up, I think you're going to have a sparkling clean swimming pool. So this rechargeable pool vac is definitely one that's at least worth a try.